My name is Claire and I work with MRN, Macaw Recovery Network, up at the Serapica field site with the Wild Great Green Macaws. And today I'm going to let you see what a day in my life looks like. So every week our schedule starts with this board you see here. These are all the nests that we are observing this year. And you can see these are all the chicks we have this year and all the baits that we're expecting these chicks to fledge. So based on this um, is how we make our weekly schedule. We see like which chicks are likely to fledge this week and then we schedule those nests in as being the highest importance to observe this week. And then what we do, you'll see later in these videos, uh, we go to these nests, we climb them if we don't see anything poking out. If we do see something poking out, that would mean that the chicks are really close to fledging and that we shouldn't disturb them. So then we just observe the tree from down there. But if nothing's poking out, we climb up the tree, we make sure everything's okay with the chick, and we go down again, and then everything's peachy. So I was thinking we could maybe go up there, um, yeah. and then on the way we could stop as well here in Boca Tapada, and we'd go to La Legua. Yeah. That means it would be a really long day though, so maybe we could combine La Legua and Chaparron on another day, and then we don't, then we have two shorter days instead of one really long day. Yeah, that's good. In the morning, after making the schedule for our day, we pack our gear bags, which is quite a lot, and we pack it all into our white car, the Jimny. Part of our field work is that we have these strange adventures sometimes <laughs> to get to certain nests. So Yo. you'll see now one of our more frequent adventures. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> So, as you guys probably already know from the other Parrot TV videos, is that climbing is a big part of our job out here in the field. So, I'm ready now to go climb this tree behind us. Um, there's a nest in there, and last time we were here there was one chick in there. So I'm going to see if she's still here, but she was ready to fledge, so it might be that she's already gone. So you can see I have a lot of gear. I have my hand descender, I have my chest descender, I have my descender, and then I have some miscellaneous items in my baggie to make sure I can do whatever I need to do when I'm up there. And um, let's see what's in there. Hi everyone. So I am up in the tree right now. So you can see there's quite a nice view. Although maybe not as tropical foresty as you thought it would be. Um, the chick is still in the cavity. I just replaced the batteries in the camera trap and turned it on again. Which is exactly the good timing. Because she's probably going to fledge very soon. So now we'll hopefully catch her on camera. So I'm gonna try to show you guys. Oh, she's poking out. She's curious. I'm gonna show you guys what she looks like. <coughs> so as you can see, they are quite mouthy. They know how to fight you off when you're in there. Although the great greens are not aggressive at all. Um, but yeah, they will let you know when they don't like something. So she just did that. So we're just gonna go back down and leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> 